Hi, I'm Trinity Hardy, and today we're going on a brief tour of one of the oldest homes in Apalachicola, the Rainy House Museum. And here we are in the parlor of the Rainy House, this beautiful 1838 Greek Revival home. These are some of the children. They had nine. Uh, only six survived to become full adults. And we still have, from the youngest daughter, family that lives here in the old Belgium consulate, which she bought with her husband. The furnishings in the house have been donated by beautiful families who've been here for many generations. But we have some wonderful pieces that actually belong to the Rainey family that have been given back to us. We have a beautiful old uh, 1840s empire style sofa that belonged to the family. And it used to be in our hallway uh, as his business grew and her family grew, a business coming to the house was getting to be a real trial. So they would invite you in and let you have a seat in the sofa on the hall so that Mr. Rainey could come out and take care of the business. We also have a beautiful black Italian marble fireplaces downstairs in these two rooms. They are original to the house and were imported from Italy. The house actually took four years to build started in 1834, completed in 1838, and once the Rainey family moved in, they lived here for the next 72 years. So you're here now in the dining room of the Rainey house. We have china from the 1870s, which was family china of the Rainey family. We're also lucky to have one cup from Harriet's original wedding china. Recently, we've been given a portrait of Harriet as a young woman. Most everything that's been donated to the kitchen is early 1900s. This is an eight, late 1800 ice box where the big block of ice would go right into the very top. This one was actually made in Michigan, made out of beautiful oak. We do have a few utensils hanging around from the early 1800s, but mostly the families have given us early 1900s. This is a 1907 cast iron stone kitchen. So it's a wonderful old oven, still burns wood, all controlled by the uh, air vents, has two warmers, cause your pipe never did get cold. It stayed hot all day long. In this uh, front bedroom is where the daughters slept. And it has a lovely armoire, which has uh, various uh, dresses and things, but the best is the little children's shoes, leather shoes. The third floor is a full floor. Um, Susan, who was the personal maid for Harriet, uh, came with her from Virginia, lived on the third floor, and the three sons slept up there. We'd like to thank the ladies for taking us on a brief tour of this beautiful museum. If you'd like a complete tour, visit the Rainy House Museum at 128 Market Street in Apalachicola, Florida. For a complete list of our museums, visit floridasforgottencoast.com and we'll see you next time on another museum tour.